You might be surprised to know that you are in possession of the most complex thing in the universe. Wait, what? Is this correct? Or it can be argued that the most complex thing is in fact in possession of you. Uh, it's the brain. I'm, I'm talking about the brain. So the brain is most complex thing in the known universe that we know of. Or at least that's what they say. To say is to produce words, which are basically sounds with meaning, which brain produces by squeezing the air out of the lungs and flapping some meat while doing so. So here are a few of those sounds with meaning that my brain made me do on the subject of curiosity. By the way, words make up this weird system when a word is defined only by other words, so it gets a little bit circular, like this snake symbolizes infinity, you know, the, the one eating its own tail. To illustrate the thing, imagine the legless reptile borrowing its head inside its butthole. Or just watch me trying to draw one. Or is it a tail eating its own snake? Do snakes have buttholes? Of course they do. Everything that is alive produces shit, which has to somehow exit the body. And the point of exit is what you may more or less accurately describe as butthole. Even if there is no actual butt or a hole. You see, this is the power of language, which is just a bunch of words arranged by some rules. But I was supposed to be talking about curiosity. We all start curious by the default. This is because brains are about making models. Models of the universe outside the brains. And the models are made out of bricks. Bricks? Experience? Experience is what goes into making the models. And some rules. The first rule of model making that brain employs is don't work too hard. Which you can also phrase as least effort rule principle. Least effort principle. Knowing that you could suspect that the models built according to this principle are not going to be too good and you would be right. They don't have to. They only need to be good enough. Brain doesn't care, but you should. This is how it does it. The model building goes on very intensely to begin with. Think babies. Brain makes predictions based on little experience it has. The predictions that are constantly being verified against whatever comes through the senses. And the model gets updated, changed and rebuilt. Which is easy, as the young brain is malleable and plastic. What the fuck? That's not a word. Anticipation is a better word than the prediction, because the brain, even with no experience, has got preferences. Remember, rule number one of model building. Exploration is what brain makes babies do. All senses engaged, but the driver is still in the passenger seat. So technically he's, he's not the driver, but the passenger. So who, what drives... Don't get sidelined, just, just stick with me. Think of the brain as your personal drug dealer. Oh god. This is supposed to be an um, educational video. And the dopamine is what it deals in. Not exclusively, but that's the one to make you do things. You see, pleasure of things that you find pleasant is mediated by this chemical. But it also hits you when the brain anticipates what happens next. Now, if you find this confusing, don't be too hard on yourself. After all, we are talking about the most complicated object that knows about the man. And in any way, the lesson is this. Finding out feels good. So there is no surprise that babies are curious as hell. And you can tell, because those little shits will not stop asking questions. Asking questions is all about second-hand experience that is easily obtainable if you have someone who can provide the answer. Least effort. Just squeeze some air out and flap some meat. Let us make this one plain. Asking question is a very wise thing to do, no matter how stupid the question sounds. It is an indication that the person asking question identified gap holes. Gap holes, really? in their model of reality and is taking steps to address the issue. 
not knowing and not asking, this is the stupid thing. You are guaranteed to be curious as long as there are gaps in the knowledge and herein lies the dilemma. Once the model reaches certain level on completion, you've learned that the food goes into your mouth and it is better not to shit where you sleep, the curiosity vanishes. Blame it on your brain. It can convince you rather easily that you know all that you need to know and this makes you blind to any gaps in your knowledge. Add to this a least effort principle and it becomes so easy to ignore, to disregard, to assign no value. All of those mean exactly the same thing. Who wrote this script? Was it that, was that off? And it becomes so easy to ignore the evidence that is contrary to what you think you know, but in fact you don't, but just believe it to be so for the reason of lazy brain. Which brings me... Oh, there's also a social, social aspect to it. Nobody likes being wrong. Reputation is a stake. Which brings me to my other point. You cannot see a gap in nothing because nothing is nothing but a gap. Alright, draw a snake. Yeah, the circular one. Thank you. The other point was actually this. How do you know that you know? One German Jew said, If you cannot explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. And by explain I mean describing a thing in relation to other more familiar things. Oh boy. Snake again. Go on, please. And by explaining I mean showing a relation of the thing to other things by means of comparison and analogy. So the whole point of this video was getting to this question. Wouldn't the world be a better place if people were just more curious? The other famous Jew said, there is in fact only one thing that you can ever learn, but even this one can only be a rough estimate. How big it is. No, not your pennies. Your ignorance, of course. Who said that? I'm not saying. Was it Jesus?